Hi everyone, so today I'll be sharing part two of my 2 p.m. photo card collection. So today I'll be going over all of the 2 p.m. member solo project binders. Um, I have one binder per member with the exception of Junho. Um, for him, I have multiple binders. And I did share my Junho binders um, pretty recently um, on the day of his discharge. Um, I'll put in a link in the description of that video if you'd like a more detailed version of my Junho binders, as well as part one of my collection um, where I shared all of my group binders. Because there are so many binders to go through in this video, I do have timestamps down below, and I will be going through all the member binders in age order um, as per usual. So uh, let's get started. So we're gonna start with June K. And um, not too much has changed, I would say, since I last showed this to you guys. Um, I did restructure some things, like I think this page um, is slightly new. I combined um, both of his Korean uh, mini albums together. And I think I moved a lot of my um, 20 minutes cards too um, and restructured them so that uh, the backs sort of look like this and you can see all the messages. Um, all these are the call event cards for his 20 minutes album. And then the other inclusions in that album. Um, and then we get onto his Japanese mini albums. So again, not much has really changed here. I still need to get um, more cards to fill in the backs a bit. And the latest edition, of course, is this is not a song cards. So I do have the full set here, um, as well as four of the six uh, Tower Record postcards um, that were from an event. And then we're gonna move on to his event things. So his lottery tickets and message cards from his solo concerts in Japan. And then just a lot of miscellaneous things. So if you see something that you're not really sure what it is, um, you could always leave a timestamp down below and I will be happy to let you know what um, certain things are. So I'm still missing a lot of his lotto stickers, which is what that section was. Um, and then some other miscellaneous cards from magazines and whatnot. And then here, um, I have some of his concert cards. So I've explained this in previous uh, collection videos, but for um, the 2 p.m. members, they have so many concert postcard size trading cards that I just like to fill out um, a couple pages per concert or concept and not attempt to get all of them. Um, these are pretty new. These are the limited venue uh, versions for Love Letter. So I have a few of these now along with the commemorative live photo set. Let me move on to No Shadow. And I wanna get more with him, um, kind of, I guess, the Christmas theme. So that's why I left those to blank. And the commemorative photo set. And his fan meeting. Um, I really love these photos, so I want to get more, which is why there's more blanks here. And then his My 20s Korean fan meeting. I finally got um, the number I wanted. And then we have No Time. And I kind of want to get more of these um, baking ones because they're adorable. But then I would need to find six more to fill out another page. And lastly, we have his This Is Not A Concert goods. So the Polaroid set. And then some of the random photos. Next, we have Cooney's binder. Um, so we start off with his Me Mini album and I'm still missing the high touch for that. And then the other versions of me um, the Taiwanese press, Korean press, and then some of the Thai uh, press. So I need to get 
three more of those uh, tie press cards. And Story Of is still majorly lacking. Um, I was hoping to find a bundle set uh, to complete the last three I needed and some filler cards, but I haven't really seen any bundle sets for those. Um, and then we have some of the pre-order DVD cards for his solo concerts. And then this is a signed um, card from um, a lottery during the TYHG uh, fan event. Um, and then I have some other miscellaneous cards here as well as some other uh, signed Polaroids I was lucky enough to pick up for good prices on auction sites. Um, some of the auto tickets and message cards, transparent cards, um, W membership stuff. Like there are a lot of random things um, that have to do with concerts. And then some of the uh, lottery stickers. And then finally the trading cards I have for him. So um, these were from his first Japanese fan meeting. Um, there are different concepts at, I believe, um, at Tokyo and Osaka. So still looking for a few of those photos. And then these were just the regular ones at both venues, um, along with the commemorative photo set. And then this was the same fan meeting, but in Seoul. And so there was different cards for that, as well as sticker sets for school's goods. And then we have his May concert goods um, with various photo concepts and the commemorative photos. Um, and then we have some Polaroids. And then his home um, solo concert in Seoul. And then these are the special light stick plates you could insert um, into 2 p.m. light stick for his event. And then this was the commemorative set for his encore home concert in Japan. Um, I don't have the actual trading cards yet. Again, I, I like to wait for bundles because that's the most um, efficient way to get all these cards. Um, and then this was the post card set for Story Of, and then the commemorative live photos for Story Of, which again, I don't have any of the trading cards yet because I've been patiently waiting for um, some good bundle deals. Um, these are all miscellaneous uh, CF sort of related cards and then um, his photo essay had postcards with him in it. Uh, next up is Taekyun. And so there's nothing new when it comes to albums or concerts so I will flip through all of his um, Winter Hitori stuff. Um, I may have gotten a few of his trading cards, um, but I'm still uh, trying to fill out the different concepts to fill up a nice page. And then we have his Aloha uh, photo book. So all the uh, cards that were in there, as well as the mini posters. And then I stock fan meeting things here um, from all of his various OCAT Christmas fan meetings. Um, these are new additions. Um, a trading card set from one of those fan meetings. Um, and then this is from his OCAT calendar. And then these were from his most recent calendar, um, um, the 2021 moment calendar and sticker set. And then these things are just various OCAT goods um, that he sold over the years at like pop-up store stuff. Um, and then these are from various Japanese magazines, um, either pre-order photos, um, special commemorative photos, um, membership photos, just different ones. Um, I do have a larger one that I recently got in a haul, but I need to cut it still. And um, it's too big to fit in like one of these two pocket pages. 
So I need to find another full page to stick it in. Um, and then finally, we get into his acting things. And with him wrapping up Vincenzo, um, I'm hoping that there'll be some nice um, additional things to put in these sections. Um, but I start off with movies to his marriage blue movie. And then the um, House of the Disappeared movie stuff. And then some drama things, including Dream High. Save Me. Um, and, and then this was from the, um, I'm blanking on the name, but the special kind of uh, Lottie Duty Free little web series. And then this is a promotional card um, advertising for his, um, the game uh, Towards Zero drama. So hopefully I'll have um, nice Vincenzo things to um, add onto this in the future. Now for William. Um, I don't think too much has changed in this binder other than I did find another Polaroid with his more recent signature. I stuck there. Um, he hasn't released any new music yet, but hopefully that will be in the works sometime soon um, after the group come back. And then various concert things. Um, so you guys have probably noticed if you haven't seen my binders before. Um, a lot of the 2 p.m. merchandise, especially for their solo stuff, um, sort of has the same format. So my binders are kind of laid out in a very similar way. Stuff from Matabokua. And um, the Korean concert. And so I have separated um, the trading cards from the various concerts. Um, and his other merchandise you could buy at these concerts. Um, I might try to integrate them in just so that everything is chronological, but I think I like having this different or the specific uh, sort of merchandise uh, grouped together, which in this case are the random trading cards. I do say that, and I do have the Busan and Call um, concert stuff, um, concert goods here. So uh, I probably should reorganize things so it's a little bit more consistent. Um, but I think these are new additions. Um, I finally found someone selling these. And then lastly, we have some of his um, Dream High things. Um, when he was doing acting stuff uh, long ago. And now we're on to all of my Juno things, which as I mentioned earlier, I did go through this um, or these binders in detail um, in a previous video uh, last month. So I'll go through these fairly quickly. Um, just all of his Japanese solo album stuff. And I'm really hoping he has another summer album. Um, so just to continue the, the tradition um, sometime after 2 p.m.'s come back. Um, the DVD postcards. And then his Korean albums. The miscellaneous things here from various magazines which I'm sure there'll be more coming um, and then acting uh, section starting with cold eyes his first movie 20 memories of the sword 
Add roses and tulips. I'm home with a towel. And then his dramas. And I think the only change <laughs> since my last video was the addition of um, this confession promotional Japanese card. And all the rest of my Junho binders have to do with his concert merchandise because I do try to get all of his concert stuff, which is a bit insane. Um, but it's all very long-term goal um, oriented. And I do try to wait for large bundles. All various message cards and other cards and all the lotto stickers and light stick covers and then finally his first concert Kimina Koi and feel Lastly, for this binder last night, all of his venue cards in the front. And these are the regular cards. And then the Polaroids from his Soul concert. And then I stuck this stationery here. And we continue on to his hyper tour, which has the most ridiculous number of cards. And I definitely only have a fraction of um, the total. Okay. I think I added maybe a couple more um, in this section, but it's, it's hard to tell any major changes um, in these sections. Um, and last Hypernite. And 2017 SS. And the Yokohama concerts. His first uh, Korean fan meeting special day canvas. with the postcard set and sticker set and bookmarks. Then his Winter Boy tour during his uh, winter sleep era. And then the 
last couple concerts from this tour, I had these cards. And a flashlight. were from um, the larger venue at the end of the tour, along with these Polaroid sets. And how the final Junho binder um, starts off with his second Korean fan meeting, um, Special Day, Unforgettable Day. various Junho the Best concerts, um, starting with his Japanese one. The commemorative live photos and Polaroid set. And I still need a label for this, but this is Junho the Best in Seoul. So his last concert for his military service started. And then there's plenty of room for his next concert, which I'm really hoping they ease down with all the trading cards, which is unlikely to happen. I'm sure there'll be even more cards than before, um, given the recent trends. And finally, we have my Chan Sung binder. And I finally have all of his cards for Complex. I just need a few more extras um, to fill in the spaces here. And I hope he does grace us with an solo album. Um, either the end of this year or sometime next year would be lovely. Um, I do want to get more of his complex photos. Sorry, there's a lot of blanks there. And then I do need a lot more of his fan meeting ones too, um, since I only have those two and then his postcard set and Polaroid set. Or, sorry, these are the postcard sets. I get a little confused about some of these things. Um, then his fan meeting, uh, Music Bless You. And then his Too Much Transformation fan meeting. And then his acting things. I'm starting off with a lot of his musical stuff. And then movies. And I'm excited for to see more after Chan Sung too, I'll make a comeback. He does have his uh, drama that was postponed for many years, uh, finally airing. So I'm looking forward to that um, and whatever else he has planned. Um, but that is everything um, for my 2 p.m. Uh, member binders. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, I have timestamps down below if you want to refer back to something. Um, as I mentioned in my first video, I've also made uh, photo card templates for anyone who's interested in collecting 2PM. Um, I'm still working on a lot of them, um, but I do have a solo album um, templates for all the members as well as uh, group album stuff uh, per member. If that is something that interests you, I'll leave a link to that thread containing all those images um, in the description as well. And then the last video I have for my collection series is my 2PM group album collection. I will eventually film that. I'm hoping to get that done within the next couple weeks because it will take me uh, quite a while to film that, I imagine. 
But yeah, so look forward to um, that video along with various other videos I have planned. My uploading schedule is definitely going to be a bit sporadic these coming months, um, but I will continue posting a lot of 2pm content. So look forward to all that and my next video. Bye guys.